started. Um, hi to James. Thanks for joining us. Um, we're just oh, I to put my logo up there for uh, not like Queen Lisa channel, but that's my other channel. So I talk about freedom, currency, um, escaping the corrupt system all that kind of stuff um so join me over there on youtube if you're finding me over here but i need to put a new little little thing over here that says mighty merchants as her and her sister um but i wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff we got recently i'm going to turn the volume down a little bit on the music because i know it can be a little obnoxious um we went to, um, what did we do? We did like a day date this week and hit um, one of the larger Goodwills in our area. And I got some cool stuff. I think I did a video earlier on that, um, at least going through part of it. So I've got some of that stuff here. I want to you can go back and watch that video. I'll try to put it on the end after this is over. Um, so if you're watching this later, that should be the video that's featured. And, and that one I show like, comps and stuff for some of the items that I'll be showing you and then um and then today we went to one of our favorite like warehouse uh clear out places and I got this whoops the backwards <laughs> for uh 75% off um but I I really love this for myself so it's a sterling silver cuff and um it is stamped or signed by the artist and it's got turquoise and coral, uh, whatever called on it. Are you okay? What's the matter? Hmm. You don't like it? Um, so I want to jump in. I'm kind of not going to do it in any specific order. So I'll just show you guys something I thought were really cool. Um, these are, I don't know if I can hold them with one hand. She's being very needy lately. So um, these are vintage Turkish brass stirrups and they're really beautiful i think they would be great for um decor um great for like you could use them as bookends in a like office or any really anywhere but you could use them just sit by the fireplace i don't know i just think they're really beautiful um the detail on them the work on them is just amazing they're super heavy though so shipping on them is kind of going to be a bear probably but we might try to find one of those flat rate boxes that it fits in and maybe that would be helpful i'm not sure but that would be like a priority thing that it would maybe help um so we'll check that out then um now i showed this in one of the videos before it's a little fitz and floyd teapot i don't think i pulled comps on this but um, I think we only paid like four bucks for it and it is a Fitz and Floyd and there's no chips or damages on it. From what I can tell, I haven't unstrapped it or whatever yet. Um, then we picked up this little marigold piece. I have a couple of marigold, uh, carnival glass pieces that are on eBay. One of them I was keeping, and Etsy, I, um, and the links are in the description of this video. Um, or if you're watching on Facebook there, it's in the description of the channel or the page or whatever. But I had one piece that I was keeping and it was called, um, Jeanette and it would have the herringbone and lily pattern. Um, and it was really pretty, but then I have since replaced it with something else. So, um, that now is, say also um this one has like a little flower pattern on it and it does have some of the like it's like the color didn't get all the way to the edge i don't know if that is on purpose or if it's meant to go to clear on the edge but it's got really good color on the base of it so um there's some other fun things Showed them the Department 56. I think I showed you guys these in the video before. This one, and this is the big Marshall um, Texas crock, like a mixing bowl with a pouring spout. That one will go up here in the next couple days. This is my little French cow 
um, creamer made in France. I thought that was too darling. And then these bowls and dishes are, this one just on stamp, it just has the partial signature on it. I mean, you're gonna have to get down. Oh, look at that. This is something else. Oh, probably picked this one up. This was a Norman Rockwell. I got distracted, but it's um, a collector's plate called a Victorian child. Oh, the original in disgrace. And I guess they broke something on the floor, so they're feeling sad or whatever. Anyway, that one's, I guess, more collectible. We usually don't pick up like, collector's plates like this unless they, we see that they have um, value or they're limited. So, um, I did get a nice piece of corning ware. It has the lid. I just took the lid off. Um, <laughs> she's going to try to climb off my arms. And um, I want to get down. I'll try to see if I can put her down for a little while. And then I'll show you these Santas in a minute. Um, this is a different pattern. I haven't seen this one as much. Maybe it's more a newer pattern, but it's kind of the pastel. And it looked like it was selling for pretty good money. So I went ahead and picked it up. Norman Ruffle dish. This one's a little praying puppy and a little girl in her Jack Russell. It says breakfast in bed. Oh, she's just eating. Um, so. Okay, these are those plates. And so I picked up the bowls. And the large dinner plate, which have like the purple and pink, and then the bread plates. Um, and I got four of each. And then somewhere there's two. Oh, here there. There are two like mugs. I don't know if these are soup mugs or you could use them for like a really big cup of coffee but they're really pretty. They're all hand painted. Um, it's a series that was done for, I believe for Mikasa, um, but it's called like Mesa or something like that. Hold on, I'll that. They're all hand painted and signed by the artist. Um, so I went through, they had several of these, but I went through and like picked out um, all these that don't have damage. Uh, no, I can't read this artist signature, but <laughs> here we go. Mesa International made in Hungary. Um, and I believe it was like through Mikasa or something like that was what I saw when I looked it up online. But I'll have to double check that when I go to post and list them. So I have a set of four of dinner plates, like salad plates or dessert plates, four of the bowls, and then I have two of these hand painted uh, large mugs or soup bowls. They're super cute. Um, this was really cute. This is like a series or a collector's series that has, I can't remember what it's called, it's like sunshine or something or the inner light children of the inner light and it says grandmother and it's a little trinket box so if somebody loves their grandmother that'd be a cute gift yeah. oh this is my little carly lamp so if you guys um if you watch the other video where I'm going through 
Goodwill and I find this little lamp. And this looks like my baby Carly when she was a baby girl, when she was so little. She had beautiful long hair, even with a little tiny thing. She had just tons of beautiful long hair. And she's so cute. Then I saw it was a lamp. Um, and I believe it's an Esco. Yeah. And uh, I'm keeping that for one day when I have a little grandbaby. So I think it's so sweet. What's that on that? I have to start. Oh, it's just dirt. Okay. So this stuff has not been processed yet, obviously. I've got to still clean it all and um, then take pictures and get it online for the store. This is that beautiful cut or this bowl. I just love this. Um, it is, I want to give you a better view. It says, in my heart, there rings a melody. And then it says, Bozier, 2002. That's like a little Christian symbol, the ichthyus. And then when you, there's an imprint that says, Oko, Oka something. Or Ola. Okola. I don't know. I've got to look it up. Um, but I thought it was really sweet. And I've got to clean it up because it's really dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. So you guys can see. A little bit of Yeah. Silvestri Terrine. This is a, a Michael Sparks design for Silvestri. And it has the spoon in there, the lid. Doesn't seem to have any chips or cracks on the edges. I'm going to be taking uh, pictures of it for you and before we, when we put it online so you'll be able to see. Um, but you can see the bottom has, I think it has the Michael Sparks thing. Then, um, more fun in today, we got, we picked this jacket up. Um, it is a Harley jacket. Um, it says Harley Davidson on it. It is vintage. It's AMF Harley Davidson. And they had it originally priced, like, I think originally it was 180. Um, we ended up getting it for 25 bucks. And it's in great condition. Um, so I'm really excited about that, getting that all cleaned up and, um, it does not smell like smoke or anything. So that was a relief, um, but really cool jacket. Very nice, clean Harley Davidson AMF leather with a fur collar jacket. Um, and with it, there were some chaps. These are, so these chaps are unisized unisex. I did not know that because I've never bought leather chaps before. And these are size small. They do have some dirt on them. That, so we're going to have to like leather, use leather soap on it and get these cleaned up. Um, I can't remember what we paid for these. It wasn't very much. I think it was 12 bucks or something. Maybe more, maybe 20 for these. I don't remember. Um, they don't have the sticker on them. So, but those were a good deal as well. Um, then I ran across some of these Santas. Um, they are June McKenna series. So I, what I did is I looked up comps on, I sorted, I went into eBay and I did uh, June McKenna Santa's Santa figurine or something like that. And then I hit sold items on the filter. And then I sorted most expensive to least. And so I looked at what had sold in the last 90 days and what prices they were getting um, and what, what ones were the most popular. And so like this little tiny dude, because it's from one of the 1992 and it's signed in ink by June McKenna is selling for like a hundred dollars or something ridiculous. This little tiny thing. Um, and I think we paid two fifty for it. So that was like a win all day long. Um, this one is a 1990. So it's even earlier. 
Um, it, they, some of them are numbered. It looks like this one's numbered. Um, this is like Santa at his toy shop. And that was one of the ones that was more valuable. Um, there is, oh, this one was on the top of the list or up closer to the top. This is like Santa with a, on a wagon. And I was like having a hard time with this because I kept thinking I was looking for a sleigh. And then I look back at the picture again and he really is on a wagon. Um, and so this one's from 92 as well. This is only number 79 out of 2,000. So there's not like 10,000 of these. There's only 2,000. That's another thing when you go to, when you find things that are numbered and limited, like if there's 10,000 of them, well, you know, even though you have number 79 or whatever, like 10,000 other people have one. But if there's only 2,000 of them ever made, like, and you got number 79, well, that's probably a little more valuable. So I kind of tried to look at that too, like how many were out there. Um, this one was another one that was highly sought after. This one, there's only 4,000 ever made. Um, this one is number, and it's from 89, 1989. So this is even earlier. That's probably why it was more valuable too. Um, and you can see the mall is all, you know, which is coming back, people coming back hard, hard and strong mauve and uh, olive green. Everybody's painting their kitchen hunter green, but they're calling it something different. I, I don't think that matters, but they do. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else. Oh, this one's a thousand one hundred and twelve uh, signed by J June McKenna. So this may have been when they were getting started. I don't know. That one's very valuable. I want to say about very, I mean, like uh, they're like a hundred bucks to, to 250. I think some of them got up there a little more, but not all of them. But still, we didn't pay very much for those. Um, this was a 12 days of Christmas um, commemorative ornament for Waterford. It is a crystal Waterford partridge in a pear tree. Um, and that is a collectible item as well. I think it has the year on it. Waterford crystal has the sticker, original box, the whole bit. And it's his first edition partridge ornament um, product of Ireland. So that's part of the other stuff. It's the first edition um, that raises its value as well. Moving right along. Oh, these are fun. Okay. Um, I grabbed these. These are retired guest to wear um, candlesticks. And they're selling for anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars for the pair, um, and I think we paid about ten bucks for them. No, we would have paid less than that, eight quarter. So these were nice and in great condition. So um no i haven't yeah you should bring them in here too so from this this week i think what are you talking about the girls um these were really cool and i believe that our postal service is going to have um, a lot to do with our future financial system um because they used to be the bank back when the united states was settling or first being settled. And um, I think we're gonna start seeing some of that again. But these are Frank Oma um, US Postal Service mugs. Uh, and we got a great deal on these as well.
my husband asked to bring some of this stuff in here, but he really, like not this one, but the two that he's about to bring in, he really loves and wants to keep. So I don't know why he's putting them on film, but they are for sale on our, on both our stores. Um, well, and this one I'll show you in a minute, but um, it's kind of funny because he just referred to them as the girls, like they're part of our family or something or living things. There's one of them. It, because Yeah. Anyway, he loves the detail and all the artwork. This is a Dresden um, piece, and it's called uh, The Lady and Her Footman. Um, I do have this one listed as well as the other ones already. Um, and I think this one's listed for like 300, but it's got the, um, the stamp and, oh, the big D and the, and the uh, crown. So you can see there and it's all gilted and she has all her fingers which is like a big deal with these little tiny porcelain very delicate things a lot of times their fingers don't make it over the years um, these are the two that he loves he loves so much um he was even watching videos about how they were made last night um the lace typically does not make it um, this good of condition for this long. Um, if you look online, most of them have a lot of broken pieces. Uh, we do have one little spot back here that has some damage, um, but we took really good pictures to show all that on our site. But these little tiny flowers, can you see these little tiny, tiny, tiny flowers? And the tiny, tiny leaves, they're all just like perfect. Her fingers are all there. Um, the ones that we saw online were for sale for, I think, $25 or $2,600. And she was missing fingers and her lace was messed. She was just a train wreck. But it's just amazing, amazing craftsmanship. Um, this is the other one. I cannot carry it by the lace or touch the lace, but. You can see the folds of the lace and the detail that went in there to create all of that. She still has a beautiful basket of flowers, all her fingers and her noses, and um, really delicate. That was one thing I had a lady educate me on how you can tell the difference between like German faces and um, Japanese or what's the other one she told me? I don't remember. No. Um, I'm still learning a lot <laughs> this, doing this stuff, but it's a lot of fun. But she was telling me that like the German faces, you'll notice they're more like the, the uh, scale on hands and faces is more lifelike and then very detailed. And so, and then you can see the um, Dresden stamp, of course, and her little golden shoes. So pretty. So, and that's all gilt with the gold. And it's a it's a whole family of Italian painters, and I've got two of these little things. They're different sizes, and then the spoon. And you like are supposed to hang them together on your kitchen wall or whatever. I'll get the other one out in a sec. But they're in great condition. There's no chips or cracks in them, and um, they're just really beautiful. And they're so Italian pottery, um, handmade by a family that's in Italy. And so there's a whole you can look up their family name and you'll see. Other pieces by other family member. Bassano, di Bassano. So that's the little one. So that's got a larger and a smaller of those, and then the spoon or ladle or whatever. Um, this little egg was sitting there. 
it is missing its stand. So I'm going to have to either have my husband create a stand or we'll find a stand for it. But it's more of that reverse painting where they do a blown glass egg and then they painted, um, they painted a nativity scene on that. So it's really beautiful. I think those sold for, with the stand, they sold for like 35 or 40 bucks. So probably that's my around 30. Oh, this I probably will not sell because it is a rabbit, and I love rabbits, especially white rabbits. Um, part of my chase the white rabbit thing and Q and Alice down the rabbit hole and all that. Um, but it is like a hen on nest, but it's a rabbit on nest. Melt glass and the ears are so beautiful and fine. You can like see through them. So I really loved this. And I loved this. <laughs> um, just a couple more things I want to show you. Two more. Oh my gosh. Yeah this amazing teapot. So this is retired yesterday. Um, similar to the little candles. Holders. They look like salt and pepper, but they're not. They're candle holders. And this, the, this series is retired. And I can't remember the name of it, but it starts with an H. But it's from Fiesta Wear. And it's, a, I believe it's a coffee pot because it's so tall. Usually the tall, thin pots are coffee pots. And the little short, fat ones are um, teapots. So that's, you can see the Fiesta stamp on it. So that is like vintage Fiesta wear. Super cool. Um, what? They were trying to sell it for $300. That's not what we paid for it. But we'll see what they're going for online. Um, Oh, last thing. This is so beautiful. Um, I love Italian pottery. I just think there's so much beautiful painting and artistry. And apparently so does Ethan Allen. And this is a numbered pot. Oh, I didn't know it was numbered. Okay. So this is number 43 of 3,982, which makes it even more valuable, I think. Um, it was handcrafted in Italy expressly for Ethan Allen. This is from the 1940s um, when I did my research. And it is, hold on, I'll show you. So beautiful. Like, I'm sure somebody kept it put away or never used it or whatever. But it's two lovebirds. Um... Is that just darling? So sweet. Anyway, I love all that Italian pottery and all this stuff. All this beautiful stuff. I can have a moment alone. But um, I do want to say thanks for watching. And um, thanks for joining us over here on Mighty Merchants. And if you have any questions or if you're looking for anything specifically, please send me a message, um, post it in the comments. I make sure to check my comments and um, let me know what to keep my eyes peeled for. And I'll be looking for you. So be out on the hunt um, next time soon. So you guys take care. Have a great day.